Okay, YouTube, um, back again with a, another box of Magic the Gathering, another box of Zendikar Rising, the set-top box. Um, I absolutely love this set, and it's insanely cheap right now. So, I keep on opening it, and I'll probably keep on opening it until it gets more expensive. Um, you can, with the right deals, you can find boxes of this for less than, um, uh, well, the set tops, uh, you can get them for less than uh, $90 a box, which with the value that these things have, plus the expeditions, I, I don't see why, why not? Like this is, it's a great set. It looks great. It's really fun to play. It's really fun to draft. Um, and you can get up to four pairs in a pack, which is, let's be real, huge. So let's get into this and see what we got. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we have these beautiful art cards, which I forget half the time. That's why I'm actually buying these. <laughs> All right. We've seen these um, comments quite a bit. So we're just going to put those off to the side because I don't think we need to see them. I'll go a little slow through the uncommons, but we've seen those too. All right. We got Aura Skyclave Hippophant. This guy is a real butthead in um, standard right now. You guaranteed foil, which is really sweet. Uh, good card in um, standard. And then you got your token. So standard's actually pretty fun right now um, during the Keldeheim uh, pre uh, Strix home. Um, all right, we got the. What is that? That's the uh, Siren Stormcaller. Seagate Stormcaller. All right. Pretty cool either way. All right, we got ourselves a foil full art. And wait, I forgot. These, the uncommons start a lot earlier on some of these. Um, we got ourselves a Showcase Territorial Skycat, which is cool. Um, another two journeys in the same pack. That's interesting. Look at that. We got ourselves a nice lithoform engine. This is a mythic. This, this guy hasn't seen a lot of play from what I've seen, but when it goes off, man, this thing can be just bonkers. So that's pretty cool. We got ourselves a foil showcase with a nectropot. Just going to shove all the foils, I guess, into the same pile here. You know what? We'll stick the showcases, the rares, and the foils all the There's no reason to... I'm going to sort all these later anyhow. So, Anyhow, what have you guys been doing? Have you guys been spending money on Magic? Are you spending your money on a different game? I'm actually thinking about learning to play Final Fantasy. I've heard that game is pretty good. Um, it's pretty popular where I'm at. And if I can get into it pretty cheaply, I'd like to. This is cool. We've got Drana. She's cool. Um, so I'm actually thinking that would be a cool, a cool set or a cool, uh, game to try to play and shoot. I love cardboard. So it's another set I can start collecting. All right. Another or off Skyclave Hiffin. Man, doubled up. Hey, and foil negate. Love those negates. I mean, nobody likes playing against a negate, but we like it. This pack's a little bit thick. I can tell there's going to be something something extra in this one all right we got ourselves a sweet mind uh anti-cognition yeah it's cool um oh we got our mall the sky uh, malls the of the skyclave this card is bonkers for three mana and it equips right to a creature Ugh, this can be a pain to stop Followed by Akiri the Fearless Voyager, who would make use of that Skyclave. And then we have ourselves Living Tempest. So we got ourselves a double rare pack. Love those. You know I love the double rare packs. Um, oh, we got ourselves a set card, because we can see it in the back. I love this full art land. Kind of reminds me of the Death Star. I know it's not. It's just a mountain. But just reminds me of one. Oh, we got ourselves a Showcase Dreadworm. 
with an oh a showcase omnith locus of band <laughs> uh that's so bad this card is bonkers probably a good idea that they did ban it got ourselves a prowling feldar for our foil and a aminoid changeling um a goofy looking card kind of reminds me of uh what is it, dupe or dude, dode, in um, in the Marvel universe? A little dupe, a little X Men character, uh, and only realized that because I've recently been opening some Marvel stuff. Another set box card. That's cool. Uh, Lotus Cobra. Such a good looking card. That pinks look great. All right. And this is Fearless Fedling and Nahiri's Litho Farming. I really would like to figure out a way to use this. And I think, actually, um, I think maybe maybe I got something. I'll, I'm going to work something out. I would like to use that. I think that would be cool. Um, a non-landfall deck would be cool all right uh cunning geyser mage as our foil and our set is a old border necroma necromancy card and it's an enchantment from the vision era and a lot of text here when you play necromancy choose a target creature card in any graveyard when necromancy comes into play put that creature into play as though it were just played and necromancy becomes a creature enchantment that targets the creature if necromancy leaves play bury that creature so it's that's a cool card that's um oh i put the foil in the wrong one that uh it's a reanimate but you have to keep the enchantment in play to keep the thing going so you can either target the enchantment or the creature all right, we got ourselves the beautiful Haloed Angels. I love these things. These are cool. Angel of Destiny. Zendikar is one of my favorite uh, planes. I, it will always be one of my favorite planes. The the land, the land uh, cards have always been really cool. These showcase cards look a little washed out. The Skyclave pick. Um, that's a kind of a bummer. This is the Hagra's Mauling. This is a modal card with a land on the other side. Great card. Um, and we got ourselves a foil rare Null Priest of Oblivion. See some play. And a copy token. Um, I haven't been playing much uh, of anything other than Arena. Because, of course, I haven't. we're still dealing with the pandemic. Um, Yarshi. Yarshan. Uh, so... Uh, live play has been difficult to do, but my local store is saying that she they are ready to do some local play. All right, we got ourselves Inscription of Ruin. Good choice card. Offer some good choices for cheap. Great rare. And Core Celebrant with a insect token. Um, we got ourselves a set card. Oh, we got ourselves another land. I think this is a was this is this a mountain too? I think this is a mountain, right? Bold oh, Boulder Loft Pathway. So this is a pathway card. It looks great. See, those are tricky because unless you remember the art from the card, it's the mountainside of the Boulder Loft <laughs> Pathway. All right, Relic Vile, Mori Wizard, Fissure Wizard. All right, we got ourselves Akron of Amiria card could be a pain we got ourselves a constrictor foil and a chemist's insight this card was played so much um any card that man it's a draw two with uh jump start that's pretty good hey another pathway oh wait no this is a forest <laughs> Apparently, I do not know my land cards. All right. Um, we got ourselves a Kazoo Necropod again. We got ourselves Shepherd of the Hero. And a Needle Verge Pathway. Regular. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a Nimble Trap Finder. A Foil Sky Pick. 
The foiling actually doesn't look too bad on this set. Uh, I know that some people have had some terrible, terrible foils from these um, set boxes, but Wizards really needs to figure out their foiling process better. It, it just, let's admit, like, there is no, there is, hey, this is the Needleway pathway, right? Well, right climb. Um, they need to figure it out better. It's, it should not be that way. We got ourselves a full art card, which is cool. We're going to come up to that real soon. We have ourselves a Skyclave Squid. Canopy full off. And we got ourselves a full art. I love these full arts. If, if, if I'm going to get full art, I want a full art pathway. Not going to lie. Because um, they're just fantastic. The Crag Crown pathway. Green and red. I play a lot of green and red. Um, got ourselves another foil rare with Soul Shatter. This card... Um, this card I, I'm not seeing a lot of. But I could see it being useful. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I love the fact that you can get these full art pathways that are not foil. Because it keeps them from bending up. Alright, we got ourselves a core... What battle? Our cliff, Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Oh, I shouldn't have put that there. I should put that in there. All right. Mountain, and then Lost Pit. All right. Another Necropot Showcase. We got a lot of those guys. Seafloor Stalker. Resolute Strike. Another Nithro. Uh, <laughs> the Haris Litho Forming. And we're getting a lot of duplication in this box. That's kind of a bummer, but either way, oh, we got ourselves, in my opinion, kind of a terrible set card. I do not think they should be post-printing in the set slot, the conspiracy cards. Seeing as this is not a draftable set currently, or people haven't drafted this set, I'm wondering if there is going to, they're going to try to figure out a way to draft this set, because like... There's a lot of rumor that the draft boxes are probably going to go away, and set boxes are going to be the new box. Um, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I'd like that, honestly. Uh, but if they do, they need to figure out how to make these draftable. All right. Let's see. Good. Spitfire Hazard. Great card. Teeter Peak. Deadly Alliance. Mortal Kombat game. This card has been just smearing me. I've been playing a Finfect deck um, of my own creation, and uh, well, I, I know I'm not the only one who plays it, but uh, I put it together myself, um, and I've been seeing a lot of that card. They've been beating me up with that card, because I play a lot of the it's like a Finfect Rogue um, with a Totski in there for some card draw, and then a lot of like Graveyard Recursion to keep those cards coming. And, uh, man, those sh exiling those cards just destroys the graveyard recursion. So, like, that isn't fun. This is a pathway, right? Nope, Skyclave Basilia. That's cool. I really like the way that looks. I've seen a lot of these before. I don't know how I'm remembering them. All right, we got ourselves a Canopy Bayloth. Cunning Core Celebrant. Rolling Vortex. And a Marauding Light Priest. I haven't drafted this set a lot recently. Um, I've drafted uh, Theros a couple times on Arena recently, and and uh, I've been drafting Kaldheim because I really, I think Kaldheim might have been best set since um, Eldrain. Um, I'm sad to see Eldrain go, but I think it's I think it's time. We've had Eldrain for a while. It's time to go. Deadly Alliance, the Mortal Combat. All right, we got ourselves. Pleca Prediction, Relic Golem, and our rare is Lumbalum, Shield of Seagate. Cool. We also got ourselves a Core Helm Chronicler rare, a double rare pack. Oh, I thought we almost got three rare pack. And then we got ourselves a Makandi uh, Ox Foil, and a Ruination Guide Battle of Zendikar, uh, Eldrazi Drone for our set. Card. So we haven't hit a big set card. No, uh, no set card rare. I hope they still put one for pack. Um, this looks like a Jace versus Nahiri fight. Uh, Nahiri's binding. It's a 
cool card. The art depicted in here is really neat. Anytime you see characters you're familiar with in the cards, it feels cool. Taunting Arbor Mage. Um, this card actually sees quite a bit of play too. I like uh, these hasty 1-1 one, one grow bigger. Uh, you see that quite a bit. Uh, not so much in Mythic, uh, but leading up to Mythic, that was in the, a lot of the John adventures, or not John. Um, Green Red. Uh, got ourselves a pathway. Uh, Green Red Adventure or the uh, Stompy. Like, I'll do the Green Red Stomp or Mid Range. I don't know what you'd call it, but Land Matters. Um, I don't know. Everybody's running a different version, but that, that showed up a lot. We got ourselves Nahiri, the alternate art, I think. This is art two. I don't have this one. Looks good though, so that's cool. I'm glad to get a card I don't have. We got ourselves Rebirth, Expedition Diviner, another Coral Helm Chronicler, and a Torborox Hope's Demise, and a Sky Clave Geopad Foil. And duplication is strong in this box. Um, kind of a surprise, really. Uh, I haven't had this much duplication in the past. Is this a Celebrant? Nope, Seagate. What is that? Seagate Manoret. A plane. All right, we got ourselves Zoloft's Consumption, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Field Researcher. All right, and our rare is another Null, but this is a regular rare and a Spitfire Legac. Angel token. Well, we're getting through most of this box. We're almost done. We should be done here in a little bit. Oh, this is a um, windswept heath, right? Yeah, I got that one. I got a land finally. I actually would love to have a windswept heath. All right, we got ourselves skyclave pick. Our rare is Oran Reef Ooze. Another Linvala, <laughs> Shield of the Seagate, and in an Ornate Rage foil with a illusion. So all those rare playsets that I was trying to trying to get for my collection, I definitely definitely helping add to that. Oh, this is cool looking. What is this? Oh man, this looks good. I'm not familiar with this card. It is. 62 Soul Shatter. We just saw Soul Shatter. Is this an alternate? I'll have to look that back up, but in its art card format, it looked really cool. And we got ourselves a Foily Forest. All right. Nahiri's Binding. Meso Mesa Lynx. Skull. Or Shatter Skull Charger. Big old giant warrior. Giant's got some. Big play now. A lot of people are playing some giant tribal, which I gotta say, it's probably a pretty fun tribal to play. Those big creatures, everybody likes big creatures, and uh, their special powers. Pretty good, man. I don't know. I like it a lot. Oh, look at that. That's one of the islands, right? Yeah, big old whirlpool island. Very cool. All right, we got ourselves a Bane Veil. Constrictor, Blood Beckoning, Inscription of Abundance, another Choose Instant, a Foil Ruin Crab, everybody hates this guy, I have literally seen people just quit playing in Arena if you pop one of those guys out, I try not to play any kind of Mill Rogue right now, because if I see, if, if you're seeing 50% of the people just quit, Insta Quit, means they're sick of playing that deck. It means they're, they're seeing that deck enough times and they don't have any answers to fix it. I just, I would, I'd rather try to work something out. Man. This uh, foil has a really nice surface. Uh, very cool. Alright. Yeah, I'd rather just play something else. Get them so they're not hating life. Negate. 
and just work on it myself. All right, we got enough selves. A turn timber symbiosis mythic. This mythic was worth something oh, for a while. I don't know if it still is, but um, it was cool. That's a, a neat. It's a neat one. I, the black one I, I prefer. Um, I think the black one still has some value. Uh, I use that in my my uh, Finfect deck. I really like that deck. It's really fun. All right, this is a this is a cool. What is this one? This isn't Sea Chrome Coast. I actually think I have got that expedition. So that's cool. Anti cognition. We got ourselves Living Tempest, Wind Rider Wizard, Glass Pool Mimic with the spell sh or shapeshifter uh, tribal, which I am a shapeshifter fan. We got ourselves Wayward Guide Beast, Foil Rare, and our Mythic set card from Aether, or not Aether, uh, what is that? Um, that is the Ugin, right? The uh, Fates Reforged. Prowless, little tutu monk. Very cool. We got ourselves a mythic set card. Monastery Mentor. I wasn't playing during Fate Reforge. Uh, so, ooh, got ourselves a cool Jace the Mind... Uh, not Mind. Uh, Illusionary Mage. Illusionary Mage, right? Mirror Mage. All right. Let's see. We got ourselves a Prowling Feldar and a Broken Wing. And a Forsaken Monument Mythic. Man, our Mythics have been pretty strong. And then we got ourselves a Tazim -te Raptor. And a plant. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a cool set card. Anytime you get a Mythic, uh, a bonus Mythic, that feels good. Alright, we got ourselves a cool Goblin. Terror Peak Ambusher. I imagine he's a Goblin. Um, all right, Scion of the Swarm, Canyon Jerboa, Seagate Banneret, Spring Mantle. All right, we got ourselves the Legion Angel. Very cool angel with that halo, beautiful halo. Cliff Haven Kite Sail, and a cat. All right, we're down to five packs. Let's do this thing just because I like to add little flavor. To the opening. Also, I'm curious. Let's hope it's a big one. Let's hope it's the nice, big, fatty one. Windswept Heath. Oh, well, that's not a bad one. That's a Verdant Catacomb. That is absolutely a win. That's a win. We are happy with that one. It wasn't a Cavern of Souls, but it is a beautiful fetch. Green, black, beautiful fetch. Very cool. Though it does... Okay, I was going to say, it looked like it had something in it. All right, we got ourselves a plane. We've seen that plane a few times. All right, and I am I'm, I'm winning on this box. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I got it. Like I said, these boxes, you can if you look hard enough, you can find them under 90 bucks, uh, really close to that $80 mark. If you can find them, pick them up, open them up. This set so fun, so good. It's great cards. Maddening Concophony. This is a good card, too. Especially in those, well, not good card. It's actually a terrifying card, but in those uh, mill decks, hey, it works real good. Nobody likes, nobody likes it. So I have, I still have a couple collector boxes that I haven't opened. I'm keeping those for a later date. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a signed, beautiful, uh, what is that, Pathway? Clearwater? Yeah, Clearwater Pathway. Look at that. That's, but I mean, it's stamp signed, but still, beautiful signature. Looks really good. All right, Mountain, Spitfire Lagak, Blight Priest. All right, Scourge, another mythic. Scourge of the Skyclave, a scavenged blade, and another set box or set list card at Triplicate Spirit. Invoke. Put three spirits up. That makes sense that it's called triplicate. It'd be funny if it's called triplicate and they only give you two. 
I feel ripped off. All right. Oh, what cool line of cards is this? I'm not familiar. Prismatic Vista. Yeah, that would have been a cool one to get, too. Uh, I heard Modern Horizons 2 is on the, on the docket. Heard it may be too expensive for your dear friend here. All right, another scatter, uh, Shatter Skull uh, Charger. Uh, Kazad Stomper, uh, Kaz, Kaz, Kazandu Stomper. Last two boxes. I'm glad you guys kept with me. Um, I love opening boxes. I love Magic the Gathering. I love been playing more. This is a uh, this is a flooded strand. I would say it was a fetch land. Um, uh, this has been a really good set. I love the fact that you get the little box toppers. That really makes. I, I know it drives down the price of the the cards in the series because everybody's opened them for those, but. Um, Valakut's Awakening. That's a good card, too. Uh, oh, man, we got a triple rare pack. We got a Grackmaw, Skyclave Ravenger, and a solid, a Strength of Solidarity. Um, I know it drives down the price of the boxes and the cards in them, but honestly, when you have uh, box toppers that contain fetch lands, and you have, I'm going to say, like, even the rares and the mythics in the set. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. What is that? A swamp. Nice. Um, the rares in the set are so good. Like, I, I know there's not a lot of financial value during um, standard season, but these cards will be, uh, maybe they'll be over. Maybe they'll never have value because they were open so much. But I got to say, like, oh, there's my guy. Finficked Rogue. Brutal. Oh, look at that. A double a Maelstrom Nexus double set box in the close. Oh, my God. Set list. We we, we double. We double mythic in the close. <laughs> yeah, this this box has been wonky. We've had duplicates. We've had, we've had really good mythics. We got ourselves a Verdant Catacomb. Um, like I said, I... The, the singles may never rebound from this set, but that doesn't matter. If you like playing this game, those singles, these these singles have power. All of the cards here have power. They play well. Um, it's a good set. And the fact that you can get a box topper in any product you open box-wise, like their draft box gets a box topper. Set box, you get a box topper. Um, the co collector's editions, you get two. And I think they're, fo oh no, you can get foils from the packs and the collectors. It's bonkers. I know that this stuff is still for sale, and I know it's really cheap on um, Toy Biz and eBay and Amazons and your local Craigslist buddy. If you, these I think are ones that you should definitely be um, these are going to go up at one point. Some point, these guaranteed box topper hits, fetch lands. Th these cards, I think you can sell these alone, unopened for thirty bucks. That's one third of this box. One third of that box alone in this card, unopened. And then you have set cards. I mean, Maelstrom, Maelstrom Nexus. That's a that's a solid card. Like this is good. Then, I mean, these are good cards. I mean, that's kind of like, well, but Chemistry's Insight, Necromancy, like, man, we we hit the mother load in, in, in our list slot. So, and even our uh, the rares, we got lots of cool foils. I, this product is bonkers, and buy it. Buy it. All right, peace, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, I love you. Make a comment.